and you've also seen him crouched in your closet. You know him, you love him. Please welcome comedian Joe Mackey. Wow, thank you. Uh, wow, these days it seems like if you say something that, that upsets people with power, they can, they can get you fired. They can even take away your bank account. Sometimes I think free speech is as barely legal as Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriends. <laughs> you're right, you're right. We should all feel bad for Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, that's one on me for punching down, but I won't let this crowd turn into the roads of Dallas that are shut down by a few snowflakes, so buckle up. <laughs> what I don't understand about cancel culture is to me, it seems like the movie Avatar. Really successful, but I don't know anyone that likes it. <laughs> and I struggled with that joke because I thought of another punchline that would be equally as apropos, but would make a whole lot more people angry. Cancel culture is a lot like President Biden. Really successful, but I don't know anyone that likes him. Because millions of people love Obama and millions of people love Trump, but even Biden's closest advisors are like, it's better if you don't talk. That's why he has less press conferences than Punxsutawney Phil. It's like they don't want you to think these days. Uh, a friend of mine said, you think that men are better than women at sports. And I said, well, uh, a lot of the time, isn't that obvious? And she said, well, well, Ronda Rousey could beat you up. Why is it that every time there's an example of a woman that can beat up a man, it's Ronda Rousey? <laughs> and why is it that every time there's an example of a man that can be beat up by a woman, it's Joe Mackey? It's like people think that skepticism is bad, but not me. I think it's a great thing. That's why I'm the first one out of every game of Simon Says I've ever played. They're like, Simon Says, pat your head. I'm like, Simon said that? <laughs> that guy, I don't have to listen to him. And everyone just goes around judging people off of one sentence with no context. And the worst part about that is that it feels pretty good. But if you judge people on one sentence with no context, doesn't that make you kind of a crappy person? Even, even that, even that little bit of judging felt amazing. I feel good and I didn't do anything to deserve that, which makes judging kind of like a drug. And you should use drugs responsibly and you should judge responsibly. That's why I judge people by signing up for prison pen pal programs or I ask convicted murderers if they're learning the lesson. <laughs> I worry about being judged. I went to the doctor and I told him, I think I sweat far more than most people. He ran some tests and he said, Joe, you have hyperhidrosis. So if you're embarrassed, just explain to people that you have a medical condition that causes you to sweat much more than others. That was his solution. So I've just been telling people I'm addicted to cocaine. <laughs> I'm guilty of being sarcastic. That's my big problem. My friend told me the other night that his girlfriend came over and they both got naked. And he said, I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. So I said, a burglar broke in. <laughs> and he said, oh my God, your bodies are disgusting. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Joe Mackey, everyone. Every 